So ngayon, gumawa naman tayo ng something very comforting, especially for the rainy season. This is cream of mushroom soup or basta cream soup na pwede mong ilagay ko ano man ang gusto mong flavor but from scratch. Of course, you can easily create something from the can pero mas fulfilling and mas maipapakita mo ang iyong pagmamahal when something is made from scratch. So para gawin ito, you need to turn on the flame medium flame and kailangan mo ng 2 tablespoons of butter this is salted butter ilalagay ko yan sa aking uh, kaserola <clears throat> 1 teaspoon of minced garlic isang pirasong white onions that I've chopped into uh, smaller pieces And then you need two cans of mushroom. So this is pieces and stems. Ang ginawa ko dito, ginupit-gupit ko so you can get smaller pieces. Kailangan itabi mo yung kanyang water. Yung tubig niya, itabi mo, you will use it later. So two cans. Tingnan mo kung paano ko chinak yan. Ginamitan ko lang ng scissors. So ayaw mo ng mushrooms, gumamit ka ng corn. Ayaw mo ng corn, gumamit ka ng asparagus. Ayaw mo ng asparagus, gumamit ka ng fresh broccoli. Kung ano mang gulay yung gusto mong gamitin, chop-chopin mo lang siya into smaller pieces, i-cubes mo lang, and then isama mo sa gisa. No? Ganun lang kasimple. Very, very simple. Yung tubig ng mushrooms, ilagay mo sa measuring cup, and kailangan makabuo siya ng 3 cups. Kung kulang yung tubig from the can, dagdagan mo ng tap water. So, this is 3 cups of water or water with the mushroom brine. No? And then, kailangan mo din ng 2 cups of fresh milk, 1 cup of heavy cream or all-purpose cream, and 1 fourth cup plus 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. No? So, silipin natin itong ginigisa natin. Igigisa mo lang to to bring out all the flavors from the mushroom and from your onions and garlic. No? And then, lalagyan ko siya ng konting sea salt. I use sea salt now kasi hindi siya ganun katapang. No? So, konting sea salt to bring out more of the flavors. But remember, I'm using salted butter so you be careful. Napakadali nitong recipe na to. Super dali. Pag nag-sweat na yan, you don't want to uh, brown the onions. Kasi mag maglalasang onion soup naman siya. Matatakpan niya yung lasa ng mushrooms. So you just want it to sweat like this. And the onions to be translucent. Maging transparent. No? And then pwede mo nang ilagay yung iyong flour. The flour will be the thickener. Lutuin mo ng konti yung flour. Ginagawa natin to, so you will prevent lumps. Yung mararamdaman mo ay, bakit may buo-buo, no? Na harina dun sa mixture. So you want to cook it. And then, ibuhos mo na yung natitira mong ingredients. The water with the mushroom brine okay, nilinis ko lang yung sandok the fresh milk and then this is your heavy cream pwede ka din gumamit ng all purpose cream kung sakaling namamahalan ka sa heavy cream Ang kaibahan po ng heavy cream at all-purpose cream, heavy cream is a full uh, fat cream. It uh, contains approximately 35 to 36% fat. Ang all-purpose cream naman has lower fat content. So mapapansin mo, mas creamy ang iyong soup if you're using heavy cream or whipping cream. Pareho po yung dalawang yon. 
Pero kung talagang wag kang, wala kang makita, remember what I always tell you, wag kang magpaka-stress and gumamit ka lang ng all-purpose cream. So now, gumagamit ako ng wire whisk para siguradong walang lumps yung harina. No? So, hinintayin ko itong kumulo. Pag kumulo po ito, uh, lalapot yan kasi mag-a-activate, maluluto yung iyong starch. While waiting for this to boil, hahaluin mo yan constantly. Pakonti-konting ganyan. Optional, pwede kang maglagay ng chicken powder or chicken broth cube. Kung nakukulangan ka sa linamnam, pwede. So again, this is optional. Kung ayaw mong gumamit ng chicken broth cube or chicken powder, you can put additional salt. So, hihintayin ko itong kumulo and then ipapakita ko sa inyo once kumukulo na. So, habang hinihintay natin kumulo itong ating mushroom soup, syempre hindi ako papayag na walang ka-partner yan, no? So, kailangan natin gumawa ng garlic bread. This is my easy recipe for garlic bread. First, you need salted butter. Tansya-tansya to, depende kung gaano kang kasaya. So dahil mas, mas masaya ako today, I'm going to put a lot of butter. Oh, for extra happiness, para mahawa kayo sa kasiyahan, more butter. No? You put the butter in your uh, pan. And then pag yung butter ay malapit ng matunaw, maglagay ka ng konting garlic. Huwag mong ilalagay yung bawang kapag yung butter mo ay sobrang init. Kasi ang mangyayari dyan, mabilis masusunog yung bawang. Papait, no? Ayan, makikita mo yung soup mo habang uh, umuuso, kung nagsisimmer, lumalapot na siya pa konti-konti. ba? Diba? So, once, ayan, makikita mo, no? Nagsisizzle. Once malapit na mag-light brown yung iyong uh, garlic, ilagay mo na yung iyong bread. You can use any type of bread. This is just focaccia. No? Pwede kang bumili lang ng even pandesal, tasty bread. Pwede kang gumamit. And then, balik ta rin mo. This is what I call the super garlic bread kasi talagang very garlicky and kung nakukulangan ka pa sa butter lagyan mo pa ng konti diba? and then the tip here is iwan mo ito sa kawali para pag ready to serve ka na pwede mo siya ulit initin okay? mahilig na mahilig kasi ko sa garlic Pero siyempre, kung ikaw natatapangan ka sa garlic, pwede mong bawasan ng konti. And then some parsley. Okay? So that's your garlic bread. Papatayin ko na yung apoy. And then here, makikita mo yung soup natin is starting to boil. Ang pwede mo din gawin dito is parang a thicker version of sopas. Pwede mo din siyang dagyan ng pasta. If you want, pwede mo lagyan ng macaroni, pwede mo lagyan ng penne, or any pasta of your choice. So, as a golden rule, whenever you are cooking with starch, kailangan pakuluin mo muna yung mixture. Bring it to a boil very well, no? Para yung starch mo is talagang mag-activate. Maiiwasan mo yung merong lasang hilaw na harina yung iyong soup. No? So yan, so hinihintay natin Makikita mo, kumukulo na siya I'm going to get black pepper Lagyan mo ng freshly ground black pepper And then of course, you adjust the seasoning Tikman mo kung kailangan mo pang lagyan ng asin Kung kailangan mo pang lagyan ng Ah... Uh, pepper, kung kailangan mo palagyan ng chicken powder. So, that is ready. Ayan, tignan mo yan habang kumukulo.
And then this is one of my secret ingredients. You can actually put truffle oil. Pwede mo lagyan ng konting truffle oil just to enhance the flavor. Konti lang. Or pwede ka din maglagay ng truffle salsa. So that's it. Pwede mo na siyang kainin together with your garlic bread. Okay, tikman natin. So makikita mo, look at the consistency, no? Very creamy. So you get some soup. And then your garlic bread. Kaya naman nagyan parsley on top. And then of course, titikman natin. Sana lang hindi ako mapaso. Mm. It's very creamy. And then yung lasa niya is tamang-tama lang. And then, what I've learned when I was testing this recipe, it's best, ayan, ilalagay mo yung bread na ganon, and then you eat it. Mm. So, tatapusin ko na tong video na to. So, you can start sourcing your ingredients and start cooking your soup with garlic bread. Happy weekend and take care.